Let's create a weather app using WeWeb AI in less than three minutes. So the first thing I want to do is prompt the AI to build my page. There's a free API I can use to get the weather called Weather API, so I'll specify this in my prompt. Once that's generated, I want to set up the logic for the search. This logic setup has automatically been suggested by the AI as a task to be done, so I can simply just hover over it in the task manager and press execute. So the AI has now generated the workflow that will get the weather of our input city, and here we can see the API call that it suggested. Now if we were to get the API key of the weather API and input it here, the API call would work. However, in WeWeb, if you were to complete an API call like this using raw JavaScript, it would mean that the call is exposed on the front end. What this means is that any users of your application will be able to see your API key and potentially maliciously use it. In order for our API call to be secure, we need to make it from a back end. So I'll integrate Superbase. With Superbase now integrated, we can utilize what are termed edge functions. Edge functions basically allow you to make API calls to external services from Superbase in a secure way. But don't worry, we don't really need to know any of the technicalities beyond that because we can prompt the AI to create our edge function. The AI knows about the weather API and so it needs our API key. So I'll retrieve my API key and give it to the AI. and then simply deploy the edge function. Now, there is one final step. We have our edge function, which now makes the secure API call. So we just need to modify our existing search workflow to now use our edge function. And again, to do so, it's as simple as prompting the AI to make the changes. And just like that, everything is set up and we have our working weather app. And since all of this sits inside of the visual WeWeb editor, you can very easily add to it, make visual changes, or even add custom logic and functionality.